Don't pay extra for the built-in Subaru TomTom Tom navigation. I'm gonna show you a much better solution, something that is way easier to use, and also, it's completely free. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics, tips and tricks that you need to know if you have a Subaru. So consider clicking that subscribe button down below if you think you might be interested in those types of videos. Depending on the Subaru model you're looking at, it may already come equipped with the TomTom Tom navigation depending on the trim level you choose. For example, if you are looking at an Outback Limited and you really want to have the moonroof and or maybe also a heated steering wheel, it's by default going to come with the TomTom Tom navigation because this is an all-in-one package. Those features all come together and you can't separate them out. Now, if you don't want the heated steering wheel and you don't care for the moonroof on that trim level, but you also want the navigation, you don't have to upgrade to, and pay extra to get that package for the nav because of what I'm about to show you. With your phone connected to your Subaru, you can go into a feature called Apple CarPlay, or if you have Android, it's called Android Auto, but you connect your phone to your car and you can use navigation directly up on your screen and you can store your phone away. And you can use multiple apps, not just Google Maps like we see here, but if you have other navigation apps downloaded, like your Google Maps, or maybe you prefer to use Waze, you can use any of those navigation apps directly on your screen. This eliminates the need to have to worry about software updates for your TomTom Tom navigation that's built into your Subaru's infotainment system. And instead, all you have to do is make sure that your phone apps or your navigation on your phone apps are up to date and that's very easy to do a lot of those are set up automatically you can set your phone up to auto update at night when you plug it into the charger when those new app downloads become available i'll show you how to use the navigation on your touchscreen with the apple carplay here in just a moment but before we get to that I'm gonna show you guys how to connect this on your car because each year is a little bit different. Apple CarPlay first became available on the 2017 Subaru Impreza. Then in 2018, they released it for the Outback, the Legacy, and the BRZ. And then in 2019, they released it to the rest of the lineup, the Ascent, the Forester, and the WRX. 2020 was the first year that Subaru made Apple CarPlay Android Auto standard across all of their lineup. Depending on the year and model of your Subaru, there are going to be two different ways to connect your device for Apple CarPlay Android Auto navigation. One is with your data cable. So 2017 through 2022, all Subarus required connection with your cable. You just plug it in here, it goes to your phone, and then you'll see something on your screen that pops up to say, enable CarPlay or Android Auto. You'll just click on that to accept, and it will connect your phone very seamlessly. Now, what they've changed in recent years, so starting in 2023, the Outback Legacy and Ascent received the wireless connectivity capabilities. So I'll show you how to do that. And now in 2024, all but the Forester have wireless connectivity. The Forester is getting that in 2025. To connect your phone wirelessly, click on this icon on the lower right hand portion of the screen. We're going to click on add. And by the way, this will work for both Android and Apple devices. It's a very similar process. You're going to click on the settings app in your phone, go to Bluetooth, and then look for the device name. The device name will be located up here on the top. We're going to look for that and click that. We're going to click Outback, pair takes just a second here. We're gonna sync up our contacts and everything. So when we do hands-free calling, it'll display that person's name. It'll ask you if you wanna use Apple CarPlay. Make sure you click on use CarPlay, otherwise it won't mirror. Click on yes. And you can add it as a favorite. If you add the phone as a favorite, it's gonna prioritize that one. So you'll see here in just a moment, we'll have more than one device connected and it'll, it'll always connect the favorited device. So this is what it'll look like when you first get it connected. You can tap into the navigation. This is using Apple Maps right now. You can use this search bar down here to type in addresses, or you can use voice command through Siri. So you can tap right here for voice command, or you can tap over here. So to use voice command, click and hold this. Bachman Subaru. One possibility I see is Bachman Subaru on Bluegrass Parkway in Jefferson Town. Then you tap, click on go. Starting route to Bachman Subaru. And it'll navigate directly to the location you set. 
Quick tip on using your voice command button on the steering wheel. It has two functions. If you single click, it's going to use the onboard voice command. If you click and hold it like we just did, it will use your Siri or Google Assistant for your Apple CarPlay Android Auto navigation. And here's what it looks like if you do a single click on your voice command button. Please say a command. It's gonna ask you up on the display. Now this, in my experience, doesn't understand you quite as well. And so I don't prefer using it. And if your car doesn't have navigation, you're not going to be able to use nav using this anyways. This one does have navigation, this particular car I'm in right now. So if you wanted to see what the TomTom Tom navigation looks like, this is what it looks like. It's functional, but in my eyes, just not as good of quality as the Apple Maps, Google Maps, and Waze that is offered through Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can also use more than one navigation app. So maybe you don't prefer the Apple Maps and instead you prefer Google Maps or maybe even Waze. You can go in here and select those navigation apps very quickly by selecting the little icons down here, the little apps, it'll pull up all of your other apps available through Apple CarPlay, which also includes music, podcasts, messaging, and even some food service apps. So we'll scroll over here to my Waze app. What I really like about Waze, so I use this primarily when traveling because of the self-reporting aspect. So when you are traveling, you can go down here and you can report if there are police ahead, if there's traffic, if there's a bad crash, you can report that and get a notice, get notified before you approach that just to make it safer when traveling. There is one key thing, an important detail to note, the differences between the TomTom built-in navigation that Subaru offers on certain trim levels and this Apple CarPlay Android Auto feature that I'm telling you about today. And that is in remote areas. So if you are in a remote area, your TomTom navigation will connect via satellite. Now with the Apple CarPlay Android Auto, this requires either Wi-Fi connectivity or cellular data. So if you're in a remote area and you haven't previously set your address before you started your route and you lose cell service or you lose Wi-Fi connectivity, which you're likely going to do if you lose cell service, then you are not going to have the ability to use your Apple CarPlay Android Auto for navigation. So that is something important to note if you are traveling in heavily remote areas. But the workaround for this is before you start your route, if you are in the mountains somewhere, or you're headed somewhere, before you leave your cabin or, or wherever you're staying, before you leave your Wi-Fi or cellular data source, go ahead and set your navigation and then begin your route because it will stay on and stay connected during your route if you do so prior to losing service. Overall, I think that the Apple CarPlay Android Auto navigation apps are way ahead and way better than the TomTom Tom navigation system. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which do you prefer? Do you like the original TomTom Tom navigation or do you like the new Apple CarPlay Android Auto that we are seeing in modern cars today? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and you found value in it, please click that like button down below. That helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.